रहमान रहीम एंड अस्सलाम वालेकुम दिस इज कैम्ब्रिज प्राइमरी मैथमेटिक्स लर्नर्स बुक 1 एंड आई एम आल्सो एसएन इन माय टुडेस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू हाउ टू डू द यूनिट नंबर 9 द यूनिट नंबर 9 इज अबाउट नंबर्स टू 20 लेट मी सी यस नंबर्स टू 20 हाउ टू टीच दिस यूनिट इन द क्लास और हाउ यू कैन हेल्प योर चाइल्ड टू डू दिस यूनिट एट होम so the name of the unit is numbers to 20 or oh, what do we have to do the very first thing we will discuss in the class is estimate what is estimate estimate is an educated guess for example how many spiders are there i think there are six okay now let me count them 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 there are seven in all so my estimate was very much close to it so i i'm right in estimating the things but if you say that my estimate is 100 there are 100 spiders oh my god what a wrong estimate it is not even close it is very bad estimate so estimate your estimate should be close to the actual number you uh, you should hmm, help your child to make an educated guess tell them to use their common sense and uh, uh, okay ask them how many biscuits can be in a pack of uh, biscuit or if you have taken one how many left estimate just guess just make a guess how many biscuits are there okay this is how you can practice estimation at home in this unit we have something very really very important that these are the number cards and uh, number cards are very important thing in this unit okay we will do that let me just first go through it how many uh, uh, dots on these dominoes 3 4 5 6 7 8 and uh, this is a number frame of 10 so it is automatically 9 when one is missed okay no need to count when only one is missed when two are missed so it is 8 because we know that it is a number frame of 10 and number frame of 10 when it is fully full it means there are 10 items okay but children cannot do it without practicing they really need a lot of practice of this number frame where you have to count the things in fives 1 2 3 4 5 5 and then 6 7 8 8 if uh, two are missed then you will say that i have eight dots or whatever so help them to use number frame again and again and then uh, by using the number frame again and again will help your child to make pairs to 10 like 9 plus 1 is 10 Seven plus three is ten, and these number pairs. Trust me, they are really, really very important in your daily life. How? Let me explain you. If it is ninety, ninety plus ten will give you hundred. Seventy plus thirty will give you hundred. Okay, when they will grow up, they definitely have to go to the shop and buy something. okay you have given 100 rupees to the shopkeeper and he has to take 80 out of it then what is left 80 plus what will make 100 okay 80 plus 20 will make 100 60 60 plus what will make 100 so these kind of things are really important in your daily life help your child to train their minds to use their maths and daily life example in daily life routines okay maths is not just in books it it should be practical maths is very much practical okay here they just told you that you know the numbers to 10 and the numbers to 20 and the teen numbers what are the teen numbers let me tell you the numbers starting from 13 Thirteen ends with teen, so it is a teen number. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. 
these are teen numbers okay next is <clears throat> write the missing numbers here okay uh, one thing they have told you that 20 is the name for two tens we know that one bar having 10 in it 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 one bar having 10 in it is 10 when we have two bars like this it is 20 when we have three bars like this it is 30 please excuse me because writing is uh, writing is bit challenging on the screen okay so three bars is 30 this is how we can help our kids to do counting in tens 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Mm, keep practicing counting in tens with your kids. It will help them in multiplication and uh, ad, uh, addition and subtraction with tens. Okay? These drills really help your child to sharp their mental math skills. Okay, here you have tried the missing numbers like 13 is missing here and 17 is missing here. Okay. Write the missing numbers. Writing the missing numbers on, the, uh, on these spaces is really easy. 12, 13, 17, 18, 19, 20, 16 what comes before 16 okay here most of the times the students are confused okay do we have to write 17 here no tell them if the space is behind the number it means you have to write the number that comes behind the number so which number comes behind 16 or before 16 that is 15 Okay, here again, when the space is before the number, you have to write the number coming before. And if the space is after the number, you have to write what comes after. And what comes before 20 is 19 and 18. And uh, before 18 is 17 and 16. Okay, for these missing numbers, please practice backward counting again and again practice backward counting from 20 till 0 okay 20 19 okay uh, how to do this backward counting on the notebook write here 20 they will write 19 18 keep going till uh, 11 and then write 10 here 10, what comes before 10 is 9, 8, 7. When these numbers will be corresponding to each other, it will help your child to improve their cognitive skills. Okay? Their brain will start connecting things with each other. I hope you will understand uh, what I am trying to say. I am trying to say, okay, uh, please... Help your child to improve their mental math skills. Don't just tell them every time we will do this, 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 this. Help them to start thinking. Okay? Okay, which numbers do these place value cards make? Okay, place value card always ends with a triangle like this or sometimes a card that is ending with arrow like this is also a place value card okay a place value card that ends with a triangle it shows that the number written just before the triangle is ones number ones number and the number written behind that ones number is tens number okay it is like this you can say tens ones and then triangle Let me again explain you. It is tens, ones and triangle. Okay. 
so remove this and let me change the color I know I am in a zoom meeting and recording my YouTube video as well so my YouTube video viewers can see the zoom controls okay 10 plus 1 1 is at uh, 1 has the triangle with it so it is at one side we will write 1 here and 10 here because 10 plus 1 is 11 and the final number is 11 okay let me tell you this in another way let me take its screenshot and uh, put it on paint program yes these are tens and ones and when i i was discussing tens with you uh, drill with these tens bars okay the screen is really big okay so here i want to tell you that a number ending with a triangle again i am repeating any number ending with a triangle the number which has the triangle is the ones number is the ones number okay these are tens these are ones and the number ending with triangle is ones number here see the number zero is ending with a triangle it is ones number okay so they said that when we add this and this then what the number would be it is 10 plus 1 is 11 10 plus 1 is 11 okay let me tell you one thing when you have a triangle it will go like this it will become number 11 okay 10 plus 1 is 11 okay but what if we have 1 and 2 here in these boxes and then a triangle and uh, plus 4 and triangle then what will be your final number in here okay 12 2 is at one side and 4 is also at one side so 12 plus 4 12 13 13 14 15 16 the final number is 16 okay okay after giving the concept of this triangle and telling them that these are ones and these are tens tell them to simply add 10 plus 7 will be 17 okay which place value cards were used to make each number 12 is equals to 10 plus 2 15 is equals to 10 plus 5 okay so uh, place value cards and their introduction was the important thing in my today's video we will do rest of the things later in some other video thanks for watching allah fez